All right, so this is gonna be the solar panel itself. I just got it in the mail. Packaging is pretty good. As you guys can see, they have like the edges and the corners all, uh, I guess, reinforced. I'm not sure how these other Chinese knockoff companies do it, but I'm gonna assume it's nothing like Cascadia does because this seems pretty over the top but I'd rather have it be over the top than have it be unprotected and have this panel get damaged so let's see I think I can open it from up here the packaging on this is like I said super super robust And then, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it in here, but it's wedged in between honeycomb cardboard, it looks like. Uh, I guess this is gonna be the directions. I'll put those off to the side. That's a pretty thick book, so that's impressive in itself, in and of itself. It looks like it comes with an application kit here. Um, some of these for cable management, I assume on the underside of the hood. It comes with 3M adhesion promoter, two of those. It comes with a felt tip 3M squeegee and a bunch of small little tie wraps. It has the felt on the squeegee as well. And as you can see here, well, I'm just gonna go handheld here to show you guys this. So as you can see right here, that's gonna be the cabling that comes from the solar panel that's gonna feed into the controller unit. And like I said, is a closer look at the contents of this bag. It comes with pretty hefty, wow, and it's colored too. It's pretty high quality images. So that's pretty rare to see that. But to me, what sets this apart from the knockoffs is the actual little unit in here has the Cascadia emblem on it. Like I said, it comes wedged in between that corrugated uh, cardboard. Like I said, on the edges, I'll give you guys a closer look at this. You have this around all the edges and the corners. This is packaged up like super good. So I'm not too worried about any damage to the panel. It's all right, so I'm just gonna cut the tape on these edges here. That way I can take apart this corrugated cardboard and see the actual panel. The panel itself is pretty well made. Looks like there's like a foam backer on this stuff here to keep it off of the hood itself. That's where the vinyl is going to go. And it actually looks like this adheres directly onto the surface of the hood as opposed to the vinyl like some of the other ones. Just to give you guys an idea, just have this in the sun real quick. I'm going to take it off. But as you can see, the actual lines are pretty close to the lines of the hood itself if you look at it from over here with this front line it's pretty i would say symmetrical with that it's, i wish it was a little bit longer by about two inches but i think overall this is going to look pretty good on the hood so first thing first here i'm just going to give the hood a quick rinse For the most part, I'm not gonna have to worry too much about debris on this because this is where I had vinyl previously. So I'm just gonna give it a quick spray and a rinse and then I'll 
be able to start applying the vinyl. So, like everything else, just kind of winging it. Like everything else I've done on this truck. I measured it out roughly, kind of eyeballed where it has to end up. I think it's pretty, pretty close. So I'm just gonna work this slowly, methodically, from the center out. There's a little bit of creasing in here. I'm pretty sure that's probably my own, my own fault. I'm trying to do this myself, and it just so happens that it's kind of windy, and I got a piece of shit stuck on the back of the vinyl. Doesn't look like all the backing came off in this section either. So I'm just gonna hit this with water since there's already soap on it. Real So this is gonna be handheld here just to show you guys how this vinyl came out. It's pretty good. It says uh, you might need to use a heat gun. I didn't have to in this case. I was able to squeegee out any air pockets or imperfections. Next up is gonna be the adhesion promoter. And as per the directions, or instructions, whatever you want to call it. It says an inch and a half around the perimeter of this vinyl is where you want to set this up. I've never used this stuff, but it did say or recommend to use uh, gloves. Now I can see why it's pretty, seems pretty fucking, oh God. Stuff actually smells pretty gnarly. The set temperature for this is 80, 60 to 80 degrees or some shit. Oh god, I got it on my fucking my eye. <laughs> so I have it like roughly placed. I just gotta get some tape out. This painter's tape. I'm just gonna tape these edges. Like I haven't measured a single thing. I'm just doing this by eye. So the directions say to flip this bitch over, try not to bend it. Gonna wipe this down one last time under here. It's been well over five minutes now at this point. Just wipe down the back of this also. I'm not really following the directions to a T here, so <laughs> hopefully everything's good. Now this was saying up here, yeah, I guess I gotta start on the side. So I pull about an inch off. There you go, there's an inch. Get that one, I gotta put the tape over here. Get that lined up with the tape over here. 
there and there. And then I'll set the pull like six inches, push down here. All right, that's it. It's official. It's started. There's no going fucking back now. All right, here it is on the hood. It's pretty close in terms of the dimension and kind of how it flows with those lines on the side. It's super close. I'm impressed. Like I said, this was originally for a Porsche, but I mean, it looks pretty good on the Frontier to be 100% honest with you guys. I'll show you from the other view as well on the other side. Just gotta go around the tripod. Looks pretty good. Actually, you know what? Screw the moving blanket. I'm just gonna put this right on the right on the edges. I assume the 25 pounds will be enough. So this is the finished product here. Still have to wire it. I'll be wiring it tomorrow when the weather gets a little bit nicer. The only thing I'm worried about is it's a little bit cold. It said to do this in the least 60 degree weather. It was in the 50s today. But with the sun, I'm hoping it was, I guess, acceptable. But as you can see, it follows the lines perfectly on the hood. It actually fits really good. All right, so day two, the panel now has been on for close to 24 hours and haven't had any issues. I'm just gonna wipe all this grime and grease off of this underside here. I'm just gonna be using the included stuff here in the kit. So I'm gonna install one of these right here on the underside of that to hold the cable in place. I kind of have it roughly where I want to go, so. Check the fit. It's actually pretty much perfect, exactly how I want it. I'll show you guys here, if you can't see it from this angle. So here is how it's gonna look from the side.
Now we just set this back up here. I'll start securing all the cabling. Super noisy today, but it's better than being windy and rainy, right? I think we're gonna get those Z1 extended hood struts as well. This vehicle kind of sucks to work on sometimes because there's not really much, much room <clears throat> under the hood that open. One thing you guys got to invest in, I broke my last set, so I just picked up another one today. Like 13 to 15 bucks, I think. The little Klein diagonal flush cutters. Like it will cut the tie wrap perfectly flush. And you don't have to worry about getting those Indian warheads that everyone loves so much. All right, so now I'm gonna cut the tie wraps I have up here. All right, so I'm just gonna take that power cable there and I'm gonna tuck this into the split loom that I have in the engine bay. Sure everything's good. Oh yeah, I left a little loop here for the slack so when it opens it's not gonna interfere with anything. When it closes, it's not gonna be too in the way of anything. I'll clean up all the wiring later on at some point. I just want to hook this up and get it installed. It's gonna be that same like super heavy duty 3M VHB double sided foam that was on the back of the panel itself. I wonder if I should just take this. Eh, no, nah, I'm just gonna stick it on for now. If it comes off, worst case, I can just reinstall it. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I got these two leads here that are gonna go to an accessory at a later date. I'm just gonna tuck those down there. The two longer cables right here are gonna be the ones that go to the battery. All right, so I ended up just going right to the battery, tucked all the excess in for now because I'm short on time here. Uh, got the ground over here, the whatever, the negative, get the positive over here on the positive side. Right now it's currently charging the battery, it looks like. I'm not sure if there's an app that you can use to monitor the MPPT controller. I would have to uh, look that up or I can reach out to them and see. I don't see anything on here that says it, but it would be cool to be able to monitor the uh, output. 